Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about trading psychology. And before we begin, I want to remind you that this video is not to be construed as financial advice. This is for educational purposes only. And you should be consulting your own financial advisor before investing or trading with real money. So in this video, I want to talk about trading psychology, a little bit of risk management and context, which is the narrative. What is the price doing and why your trade set fail all the time and before we go farther into the video I want to drive home this one important point is that the life is fractal the price is fractal everything in life is fractal and um, nature has patterns and all that and so how you do anything is how you do everything so if you are randomly going through life that's how your trading is going to look like. If you're doing random activities, you're going to execute random trades. If you don't have consistency, structure, and systems put in into your life, you're going through the chaos without knowing how to control it. Because life is chaotic. And all we can do as humans is try to control that chaos. And within that control, we can find the consistency and make progress towards our goals this is very important and even in the bible you can find this verse is to those that have everything more will be given and from those that have nothing everything will be taken this is very very true because as soon as you start making progress towards a single goal and and doing the same thing over and over that brings you closer to that goal you will experience more and more abundance. You will experience more things towards that goal. You will experience more and more and more as long as you put effort in. Because if you're not going to put effort in, everything will be taken from you. If you just think that randomly one day you're going to wake up and, and suddenly you're going to be a great trader and, and all this mindset thing is going to click in, it, it's not going to happen. Everything will be taken from you if you relax, if you stop moving forward. Everything in this life and universe is, is governed by cause and effect. If you're not putting effort in, there's not going to be effect. You need to take an action and expect a reaction. There is no reaction without an action. So if you're expecting a certain reaction, you need to put a certain action. And you got to keep doing that the same action. Because if you stop doing that same action, it's no good living healthfully for one day and then sabotaging it in the next. This is what we do in trading. Every single time we blow up, this is what happens. We're consistently making progress. Maybe we're getting a, a nice win streak. And what happens? We take a loss. We take another loss. And the next thing you know, we blow up the account the, the same day. This is what sabotaging success looks like. This is when we don't follow our rules and we don't do the same thing that brought us consistency we don't do the same thing maybe we get greedy and on this setup on this day we're going to swing for the fences and next thing you know you blow up it's very important to do things the same way every single day because through repetition that's when wisdom will come because you've been repeating over and over the same thing you will start noticing nuances within that same thing and maybe improving your system it's very important to keep moving towards the same goal with the same process and keep refining that process over and over again and the other thing that people don't really realize is that the results that you see today are coming from the efforts that you put in years ago. You know, I started trading in 2020, and uh, I don't know what I've been doing before that, but I really haven't heard about trading, investing, or anything until 2020. And as soon as I heard it, as soon as I learned about it, I knew I want to be a trader. I love it. I'm introverted. It's the perfect job for the introvert. I don't want to manage people. But now, since I have a goal, I need to put a consistent effort into learning that craft, into practicing that craft, into finding my trading edge. And I can't expect to see results in the next few months, in the, in the next few days, in the next few weeks. We can't 
expect results so fast because that feeds into the get rich quick mentality and next thing you know you over leveraging and you blowing up because you greedy so it's very very important to not get ahead of yourself because always remember the results that you see today are coming from the efforts that you put in years ago. My, my first two and a half years in trading, I spent unprofitable. But the important part is that once you decide what is your goal, you need to put consistent effort in pursuing that goal. So everything is about focus. Focusing your energy towards one thing. As you can see here on this diagram, it's all about energy and where you going to focus that energy in so as you can see here we have nice straight line towards the goal it's this is the person who every day puts in effort towards that goal and eventually they get really good and the goal is mastery and eventually they master the craft and they good at it but if you spread your energy around like shown in here and it's it's flowing all over the place. Well, maybe here you start making progress and it's going your way, but then you want to play some video games. And then, uh, well, you decide to maybe dive into the di dividend investing. And, and maybe maybe here and uh, you started to exploring different uh, trading strategy. And then maybe here you, you started to believe that, uh, you know, swing trading is better than scalping. And maybe here the scalping is better than swing trading. And, and then next thing you know, you spread your energy in all of these different ways. And the goal is over here. You haven't made any progress towards your goal but if you focus the energy on one thing consistently you're going to be able to move towards your goal in a fastest way possible because eventually here you can might be you know getting slowly to, to towards your goal where you practice one setup you're trying to just uh, trade and and practice one thing over and over and and you might be making progress towards your goal but since you also like like to play video games and maybe hang out with friends and, and then get drunk, your energy going away from this one goal. And eventually you're distracting yourself from whatever you learned here in this progress. You're distracting yourself with all these other activities like video games and all that crap. I used to play a lot of video games, but now I play video game of trading. So if my goal is to become really good trader, my goal is mastery of trading, I should focus all of my energy into that one thing and make my whole life about that one thing. This is what passion is. This is what passionate people do. They, they do the same thing over and over again because they love it. I love trading. And that's why I decided to pour all of my energy into the one thing which is trading. So to summarize this, if you want to become good at something, put all of your time and energy into that one thing. Very simple. One trading setup over and over and over again until it becomes an instinct. Until you can just open the chart and you see it right away. Okay, yep, that's my setup. Yep, price is not there yet, but I'm going to wait until it gets there. And if it sets up in my way, I'm going to take a trade. But you're not going to get to that level if you keep distracting yourself with other things. And the reality is we don't know what we don't know. If we learning something right now, there are other things that deeper with anything in life. The rabbit hole goes deep. And we don't know what we don't know until we realize it, until we practice it, until we experience it. So you might think that this trading is, is about trend lines, but then you realize that it's, it's about smart money. And then you realize it's about institutions. And then you realize about this and then, 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 then. And rabbit hole goes so deep. And what you going to do about it? You don't know about it. You don't know until you know. And we don't know what we don't know. So do not assume stuff about things that you don't know and submit to the process. If you haven't tried this one setup over and over again, you can't speak on it. You can't speak on executing that setup. You can't tell anybody what to do because you haven't done it yourself. So it all goes back to the time and effort into one thing. 
And because you're repeating that one thing, you become wiser and wiser about that thing. You start learning all the intricacies, all the nuances about that one thing, about that one trading setup, about trading in general, about what it takes to become a consistently profitable trader. So as uh, Mark Douglas said, there are three levels of trading master. The first one is mechanical, which is you practice a mechanical strategy where there is a one trading setup that, that you know, and you have mechanical rules. Then number two is subjective, which is now you understand maybe the overall context and maybe overall narrative of the price and where price is going and, and what the structure looking right now is a good time to short. Is it maybe uh, is a good structure to short or maybe the good range to short or maybe the good range to buy? That's where subjectivity comes in. And now your mechanical works even better because you're picking and choosing only the best setups. And then number three, it's intuitive where you just look at the chart and you can execute. You know intuitively if this setup is going to work out or not. Now, the, the level three is mastery. All we need to start is mechanical. And because we can repeat mechanical over and over and over again, we start to understand subjective. We start to understand the narrative. Why price going there? Why this setup failed? We learn and we move to subjective and eventually we graduate into the intuitive. But intuitive takes years and years and years of practicing the same thing over and over again. And the other important thing is that we can't rush into trading without practicing the same trade setup over and over again. The same thing over and over again. And I'm stressing this over and over again because it's very important. It's like trying to go to the gym for the first time ever and expecting to squat 500 pounds right away. You're going to break your back, just like you're going to blow up your trading account. Again, how you do anything is how you do everything. So if you're going to the gym and, and try to, you know, lift 500 pounds, you get what you deserve. Cause and effect. We need to start small, just like we need to start with maybe 20 pounds. We need to start with five points on NQ. What are you trying to catch 100 points when you can't catch five points consistently you might get lucky and you can catch maybe 100 points here and there but you can't expect to come in every day and capture those 100 points it's not realistic those moves don't happen every day you know you need to be realistic if you can't capture five points consistently what are you doing with 100 point trades this is where discipline comes in Discipline to take just this one setup, to take only one trade per day. Discipline to stop trading after a loss. Whatever rules you set for yourself, you must follow 100%. If rules are not followed, you will have cognitive dissonance and you will wire your brain for failure. What is cognitive dissonance? Cognitive dissonance is a mental conflict that occurs when your beliefs don't line up with your actions. It's an uncomfortable state of mind when someone has contradictory values, attitudes, or perspectives about the same thing. So if you keep telling yourself, okay, I'm going to only take one trade a day. I'm only going to aim for five points. I'm only going to execute this one setup. And when you sit down and trying to trade, what happens? You jumping in here, you jumping gun, you chasing, you doing this, you getting greedy. You're not following your rules. You're not doing what you said you're going to do. And what happens? Your brain eventually will stop taking you seriously and will never believe what you say you're going to do. This is how people lie to themselves all the time. They say they're going to do something and they don't do it. And they can go like this throughout their whole life like this. They, they can lie to themselves and say, yeah, I'm doing this, but in reality, they're not. And uh, it's very, very dark place to come out of. You have to take ownership of your life and you have to slowly get back to that point uh, where you, you say and you do it. You say one thing and you do that thing and you do that consistently. And eventually your brain will start 
believing you again. But if you are here in this place where you say I'm not going to overtrade or whatever, you say I'm, I'm going to stop after one loss and you don't, that's bad. You will never make progress that way, I promise you. You will never make progress. And it all comes back to this. How you do anything is how you do everything. So don't lie to yourself. So if you're struggling to follow your rules in trading, it's because you don't have rules in your own life. Yep, very true. Just like in trading, you must have structure in your life. You know, life is chaotic. And only with structure we can make sense of it. Structure allows us to control our environment, kind of allow us to control the chaotic life there is. And without structure, it's all chaos, it's all randomness. We will never understand anything in life without structure. Without structural learning, without structural efforts, everything has to have structure. Because without structure, it's a chaos, it's a randomness. And you can't navigate chaos without structure. Structure is everything. And I don't care what anybody else says, but structure in trading is everything. Just knowing market structure will make you a profitable trader. If you can follow the rules of market structure, meaning you, you buy low, you sell high, you buy at the right areas and you sell at the right areas, everything comes back to structure. So just like in trading, you must have structure in your life because if you don't, then your trading is going to reflect that. There is a, a good saying, there is no such a thing as business problems. There are personal problems that reflect in your business. So the same with trading. If you don't have structure, if you don't have a routine, you don't have habits, you're going to lose in trading. All right, so let's talk about risk to reward. And I'm not going to be talking about percentages, uh, RR, which RR is better. It doesn't really matter. As long as you're profitable and whatever f suits your personality, that's what you uh, should be doing. But uh, I want to emphasize on small gains consistently. So start small and then add to it later. Can you consistently extract five points from NQ every single day? If you can, now you have to keep doing that and slowly adding more and more size. This is uh, very important because a lot of people uh, come into the market and they want to get rich quick. They want to get a 100-point banger right away and uh, somebody give them a signal so they can just make money. And that's a really wrong mentality because, because you're setting yourself up for unrealistic expectations and five points on in queue might not seem enough but five points on one in queue is 100 bucks okay so you have five in queues it's 500 bucks so it's really adds up all you really need to quit your nine to five is a couple of trades on in queue and you're done for that day and to put it in perspective 10 points on in queue is 200 bucks so so you could be taking one trade with five in queues and banging 1000 bucks in one trade these trades could last literally like a few minutes and you could be done for the day. But the important part is that you need to know what you're doing. So a lot of people shy away from the low time frame trading. And they don't understand that uh, they just don't know what they're doing. They're afraid that, you know, some random wick is going to take them out uh, before the move unfolds. Yeah, it might happen. But if you practice doing the same thing over and over, and if you have a working system, and you can trust that system and your execution is good, you can take one trade and walk away and just bang 1,000 bucks with five in queues and, and you're done. You're done for the day. But you start out slow. Can you do it with one in queue and five points? That's 100 bucks. You know, and I get it that your system might give you more points, but the more you hold, the greedier you get. And you haven't learned how to extract five points out of the market. Uh, uh, what are you doing trying to extract 10, 20, 30, 40 points out of the market? Let's learn how to consistently extract five points every single day and then add on to that. And yeah, it's going to be boring. It's going to be you know, monotonous, but eventually you can graduate to the 10 
points and more in queues, that consistency will give you massive confidence. So you will be able to add more and more size onto your trades. You can't just come in into the market and expect 100 point banger every single day. They don't happen every single day. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. And guess what? There is no guarantee that you're going to catch that trade. But what's going to happen, you're going to come into the market and you, you're going to be expecting, you're going to be setting unrealistic expectations that, well, today I'm going to try to catch 100 points just like I did yesterday. It might not happen and you might end up getting chopped up trying to get the best entry to take it to the moon and the market just been chopping around all day. So it's very important to set realistic expectations for yourself as a trader. And really all you have to do is follow simple plan. That's what most traders don't do. 99% of people don't follow the plan. They know what they need to do, but they never do it. So the same with uh, weight loss. You know you shouldn't be eating McDonald's every day, but, but still people do it. So set a simple plan. One trade per day, five point target. Can you do this consistently every day? Can you do this for a month? Take one trade and stop. Five point target and stop. Get used to doing this. Get used to pulling out five points profits out of the market. I don't care if it goes 100 points plus into your target zone, whatever you determined. Your goal is to extract only five points. Can you do that? I know it might seem not big of a target, but... Can you do that consistently every single day? Because this right here is enough for you to quit your job. This is enough. Five points is enough. Ten points is enough. And if you can do it consistently, then you add on more size. You add two contracts, three contracts, four contracts, five contracts, whatever your risk tolerance is. But your risk tolerance is going to increase with confidence, with practice, with backtesting, forward testing, with seeing your setup play out every single day. You know, it's a simple plan, but can you stick to it? Will you be able to follow your own rules? You have no other choice but follow your rules if you want to be successful. Like I said, 99% of traders fail not because market makers hunting their stop losses. It's because... 99% of traders cannot stick to their own rules. I can give you rules, but they might not work for you. It's very important that you decide those rules for yourself, and eventually you can keep refining those rules. As you keep learning, as you keep progressing and getting more and more experience as a trader, you can keep refining your rules. You know, you might have a system, but now you have a rule to not get in on top of the range, to not buy on top of the range, to not sell on the bottom of the range. You can discover these rules that in backtesting, you notice that you repeatedly get into this entry and you get stopped out. So you can set rules around that. So you get less stopped out. And by the process of elimination, you're refining your trading and you're refining your process. It's very important to follow your rules because if you fail to follow your rules, you will have small winning days and a big blowout wiping away all of the consistency and progress. Sounds familiar? Hmm? Anybody? I've been there. That's what 99% of people do. It's called greed. You got the dopamine hit. After taking 69 points out of the NQ and you come in again and, and you're expecting the same thing happen. And it doesn't happen. And you take one loss. You take two loss. And next thing you know, you blow up. You spiral out of control. You get pissed off. Why it's not working? You don't understand why it's not working. It gets frustrated. And you start chasing. You start trying to get back everything in one trade. That's because you don't have rules. And that's because you are not used to following your rules. You are not used to sit on your hands and wait for that one thing to show up on the chart. That's the problem. Because, like I said in previous videos, all the strategies work. Everything works. There's no doubt in my mind that ICT works, that DTFX works, that... So supply and demand works, all of the, the Wyckoff, the Elliott waves, trend lines, all of it works, okay? And it's really 
all of it is the same thing because we're talking about the same price action, the same candles. But what's not working is you. You not working. Okay, and I'm also speaking to myself. I used to be like this. I used to expect that, you know, trading is like a video game, but not. You need to have rules and you need to follow those rules. Because if you don't, it's going to be all randomized results. It's all going to be random and you might have a good winning streak. And next thing you know, you blow up in, in a single day. You might be building consistency every day for two weeks, three weeks. And then something happens and you just can't control yourself. You spiral out of control and you blow up. You know, a lot of people equate to trading as gambling. And it's partially true because we don't really have a control over our outcomes, right? We're trying to place high probability bets, but it's really that there is no guarantee that, that this bet will play out. It takes one trader somewhere in the world to turn your winning trade into a loser. Because I don't care what anybody else says market moves with algorithm but if there is no participants there is no algorithm there 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 need to be buyers and sellers and the only way to know where the market moves is to know what the biggest players are thinking the ones that have a lot of money to move this market i'm talking about central banks and all all, all that bunch the only way to know where the market is going is to get into the mind of those people that have means and willing to move the market. That's the only way. Otherwise, you will never know for sure. You will never guarantee yourself a winning trade. And that's why a lot of people think that it's gambling. And if it is gambling, I'm trying to suggest you to become a professional gambler. Who's professional gambler? Professional gambler is someone who has a complete control over the time, money, and energy they spend on gambling. They are seen to be more skilled at gambling than other gamblers and are considered at low risk for the addiction. So professional gambler, they're not addicts, but casual gamblers, they are addicted to winning. They addicted to that dopamine hit of a winning trade and that's what messes them up because you cannot be seeking the dopamine heads because market will not give you the setup all the time your your perfect setup it's not gonna appear all the time that's why it's a perfect setup because it's a careful selection out of all the price action that's going on right now in front of you what is your setup do you see it you take it you don't see it, you sit on your hand and you wait for that one thing. That's what separates a professional gambler and casual gambler that uh, seeking dopamine hits. So again, it all comes back to setting rules. And I'll give you a simple plan to follow. It's, it's not that hard, but the hardest part is to follow it. So the number one, pick a financial goal. Do you want to replace some bills or whatever? How much you need? You need 2000 a month, 3000 a month, 4000 a month. How much you need? Once you realize how much you need, so let's say it's $5,000 a month. $5,000 a month, it's uh, $250 per day, per trading day. And there are 20 trading days in a month. So we need to make 250 bucks every single day. I don't know, maybe you can set a, a rule for yourself where you take three trades with five point each and it's going to be $300 on one NQ contract. Or maybe one trade with 15 points. There is 250 bucks. If you if your model allows you to do that and you can consistently do it in back testing, in forward testing, maybe you'll be able to do it in live environment too. Number 2, pick a trading model. What is going to be the model that you use to get to your goal? Number 3, back test that model. Obvious you need to know what you're doing, executing that model, right? Refine your executions, number four. Exactly. So you found good model. Now you need to practice. Practice those executions. Practice every single day the same thing. That's how you get good. That's how basketball players get good. Practice. 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 One kick over and over and over. One shot over and over and over. One setup over and over and over that's the only way guys once you back tested refined your executions you can try out the demo environment you can try out in demo either you're gonna sign up for some prop firm it's still demo or you don't need to waste money at all 
just get profitable in demo first. But the trick is, is you need to stick to your rules and you need to execute the same thing over and over. Don't lie to yourself, okay? Don't lie to yourself because that's cognitive dissonance and eventually your brain will stop taking you seriously. So stop lying to yourself. Go into demo and if you are not successful, go back to backtesting and refining your executions. And only after step number five, when you're consistently profitable, try to trade the same thing in a live environment. And of course, this is not a financial advice here. I'm not going to tell you to go and trade live funds, but a good bridge between demo and live is a prop firm trading. See if you can pass evaluation and fund your real account with the prop for money because i can guarantee you if you cannot pull out any money from the prop firms you will lose your ass trying to trade personal account the goal here out of all of this plan is to get consistently profitable and to prove you to yourself that you are consistently profitable you need to pass some evaluation on some prop firm account and also get a payout because that payout is going to fund your personal account. And the more you trade, the more you're going to refine your approach and uh, eventually you can fund your personal account with the prop firm money and trade the same thing, but now on your personal account. And you don't have to uh, follow the rules of the prop firms. So the number one thing I would say that uh, people struggle with is executions. So I can't really teach you executions. I can show you how I'm approaching execution. But until you try it yourself, until you take action on your chart, you will never understand how it feels you will never understand what kind of emotions are going through your head. You, you will never understand until you do it yourself and you start refining your, your own execution. So if you would have to focus on one thing, focus on this process. Trade idea, execution, and target. Trade idea will come from your system. What is that one trade setup that you, you take? Then execution. Execute that and target and keep doing this over and over and over again. And again, a trade idea, like I said, trade idea, execution, five point target, trade idea, execution, five point target, set up, execution, target, set up, execution, target, over and over and over again. And if you can perfect execution and your setup, the size will not matter. With perfect execution, size doesn't matter. And of course, with, with more size, you're going to have more emotion. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to be harder for you to, to get used to at first. But that's why we scale uh, slowly. You know, we do one in Q, two in Qs, three in Qs. Uh, we can do four contracts, then five, ten. And you keep increasing. And with each increase, you will feel it. You will feel the the risk. If you are really anxious when, when you get in a live environment with real money, start with micros. Try to do one micro. And then slowly increase one micro. And if you lose, you, you decrease your size until you get, get out of the drawdown. The whole point of this is to make it an instinct. Repetition will make it a muscle memory. The more you repeat, the more nuances you're going to risk, uh, discover. The, the more different nuances that you're going to see within your setup. How it behaves uh, in this environment, how it behaves in that environment you will be able to pick up subconsciously on the price action. This is how you train yourself to go from mechanical trading into more subjective and into intuitive trading and eventually. Because you're exposing yourself every day to the uh, tape reading and backtesting and watching your setup play out over and over again, your subconscious will start picking out on things that you don't even realize right now. We don't know what we don't know. So do not be ignorant to the fact that there is so much depth to the price, to the uh, how price moves, how manipulation looks, how smart money operates. There is so much depth. You don't need to know all of it to be profitable. You just need one kick, one setup. That's all you need. 
Your goal is not to solve the market, but to consistently extract a portion with your edge. And your edge is the setup that you execute over and over and over, that you repeat over and over and over. That's your setup. That's your edge. And with repetition, you will get more wisdom with that edge. You will start sharpening your edge with repetition. Because your subconscious will tell you at times, okay, maybe maybe you shouldn't long on top of the range, okay? Maybe, maybe wait to hear this is not a, a good time to long. Because, you know, in the past, every time you, you long on top of the range, it uh, doesn't end good. So maybe you should stay out of this trade. That's subjective trading. And with intuitive, it's it's like a muscle memory. It's it's a beauty. That's the ultimate goal of mastery. And that's why I say everything works. But everything works within the proper context because um, all of the patterns work, but they're not working against the trend. You know, like if, if you're trying to short in a bullish trend, it's not going to end well. You might catch a reversal or whatever, but, you know, trend is your friend. So if you can buy low and sell high, that's already winning thing that's why you can't buy and sell every breaker or zone or whatever you can't buy and sell every turtle soup you can't you need to have a proper context and what is the context really it's market structure trade what you see and not what you think context is everything and market structure is context really context is everything because if you are trying to trade against the wrong context and the wrong narrative that's what's going to make you lose and that's what's going to trip you up as a trader and really what is context it's market structure market structure is context so if you're trying to long the bearish structure you're going to lose you might catch a retracement or whatever, but ultimately, if you're trying to trade against structure and against the current narrative and context, it's going to trip you up. It's way easier to trade with the proper structure and the proper context. What is price doing right now? Trade what you see and not what you think. This is the biggest lesson that you can ever have in trading. Because technical analysis are nothing. They won't make you profitable. Nothing will make you profitable but reading the market. If you can properly get a read on what the current narrative right now is telling you. What, what is going on? Are we making double top? Are we sweeping highs? Are we sweeping lows? Are we breaking them? We closing about the highs and we making new highs. What is the context? Are we on top of the range or are we on the bottom of the range? Or maybe we are chopping at equilibrium. What is the context and what is the narrative? So I'm going to wrap this up with top down analysis on in queue and uh, how can we properly uh, build a context and narrative for the price? Uh, what do we see right now? What is going on on NQ right now? Well, we, we made new highs, right? And, you know, we didn't make a new high on NQ contract, I believe, but um, US 100 made a new high, okay? So we closed about this new high, right? So we know that this below us is a demand zone. This is where the price will retrace in case we're going to retrace. So we know that we are bullish, right? We broke out and we made a new all-time high. We closed above it. So all of this below us is internal range liquidity. So shall the price start pulling down and, you know, closing below this candle? This is an indication that we might dig into these areas. Maybe, maybe bounce here or maybe go lower, right? And bounce inside of here and if you've been following me for a while you know I like to see unmitigated areas get traded to and get a nice reaction off of it you know this candle is unmitigated this whole zone is unmitigated right this whole thing is unmitigated so shall we start building a trend back down 
I would be looking for these type of scenarios in here. You know, something like this. And this is monthly chart. And you can do this on any chart you want. One minute, 15 seconds, five minutes, 15 minutes, one hour, daily. But this is on the monthly, uh, interesting areas. Now, I like to see mitigation below 50% of the range. So if we throw uh, some fibs on this, as you can see right below 50, this is a good candidate for a bounce in here on the monthly chart. Let's zoom in into the weekly. Let's see what's going on on weekly. On weekly, we still close the bow, right? So it's all relative. We have this zone below us, and we have this unmitigated zone. So we could uh, well have a bounce in here if we keep breaking down. Right, so far this is just looks like a pullback here and there is imbalance and we could be bouncing off of this area, this fractal. We almost touched it here, but I get a feeling that this is just a fake structure here on top and we eventually gonna liquidate this low in here and we gonna drop lower into uh, this area, into 15,000s. And then we'll see, maybe we can have a bounce off of uh, this last move down. And we'll see what kind of structure it prints in here. But I'm looking for the pullback. You know, I'm looking for the pullback, especially after this reversal, right? You know, ICT talks about the three candle, one, two, three, right? And, you know, we had a sweep. So this candle swept. And then we had a final candle. This is also a power of three accumulation, manipulation, distribution. So this is a reversal. This is a top in here on the weekly chart. Let's zoom in into daily. Let's zoom in into daily. All right. So see, this is where we need to get into more like a narrative building and why we are bearish. Well, we are bearish right now because we broke a swing. See, this swing on top is broken on the daily. And the last unmitigated candle we got in here, and this is really a fractal here, but also the stop candle is unmitigated. So we could well come into all the way up here before reversing on a daily chart. You can build the same narrative on one minute and it will play out way faster. See, like we on top of the range. So, you know, one of the rules could be do not long the top of the range, right? This is a bearish impulse and we have a retracement to get another bearish impulse. Retracement, impulse, retracement, impulse until we have a break of structure to the upside. So the narrative currently is bearish and the narrative saying as that on the daily chart, we are retracing, right? Also on the daily chart, we have this candlesticks structure. So what is it telling us? It tells us that this candle swept the previous candle, closed inside it, and we have the same reversal pattern as I was talking about here on top. I was saying it on a weekly, but this pattern in here also showing us a top. Three candle structure that's also a power of three, as ICT says it, I know most concepts out there, but it works, right? And this is also accumulation, manipulation, and distribution in the third candle. After we get this second candle, right, this is a sign that we might be going back for a retracement. So now we could be looking for another top in here, maybe higher. So our daily narrative tells us that we are in a retracement and it's bullish trend up. So can we catch this retracement? Last week closed Friday was this candle. So that's an indication that we might have the, the third candle pump, the third candle uh, distribution. So let's see the four hour. And as you can see this one, there is a gap in here. So this is imbalance, FVG, whatever you want to call it. But 
the presence of this gap means that the top zone on top of it wasn't mitigated. So see, just like I have it outlined, because on the higher time frame, we have that last candle is not mitigated and you see this bigger gap in here. So when, when you zoom into four hour, you can refine it farther, but that's the reaction area that I want to see price get to. And then maybe in here we can see some distribution, whatever it might be. See, this is uh, looks like a fake structure, right? It's It was all inside this big candle here. And then we broke down lower. So all of this up here is unmitigated. So now we know that we are in a bullish trend and uh, we can be bullish until we have a reversal. So again, the narrative, the context of this market right now is we are in the retracement back to this area, the bearish area, right? This is a whole swing. This whole swing is manipulation. It's bearish. And really, if, if you want, we can throw some uh, Dexter's um, projection on this. And long behold, we have a projection of minus four. Hmm, interesting. And where it lands? Right into the unmitigated zone. If we take a smaller manipulation, just the top candle, right? Let me put a magnet on. If we take a smaller manipulation, just the top candle, it goes right into this zone in here. So we have all the reasons to believe that we're going to continue lower. And if there is no setup in here, if there is no reversal in here, if our rules don't line up with a reversal, I don't know, you might have different rules, but my rule is I, I want to see a reversal. And if I don't see a reversal, I just keep following the price until I see my setup. Let's go 15 minutes just to see what's on the lower time frames and how could we um, maybe catch this reversal in here. I mean, it, it's a tough one, but this one in here, right? This is an indication that we're going to reverse. This big up. This was during uh, London. This was on, uh, on Friday. We had this big old pump and we retraced back, right? This this already breaking structure. And we retraced back into this, this box, which is bullish box, right? This was unmitigated area. As you can see, see there's a gap. The price just went through. And we can uh, also refine it farther down to this candle, to this, this candle in here. So the, the narrative is that we saw a big breakout and price came back all the way down, accumulated in here. There, there is a turtle soup in here, right? And we came up. And then you can start getting in on these lower swings in here because you're aware where we are. So if you want to catch like longer moves, if you're not a scalper and you want to catch those, those um, setups that I've been posting on Twitter, you could be waiting for this to occur and then find bullishness, find a flip on lower time frame. So let's go to one minute. There's one minute. There's the turtle soup on one minute. So what happened here? We flipped. Look at that. We flipped, there is a break of structure. We flipped again, if you want a s second confirmation. We flipped again, and we just keep flipping ever since. Bullish trend, look, goes up. The narrative told us that this is a reversal. Back on 15 minute chart, it told us that it's a reversal. Also, it told us that it's a reversal on Friday. If you look at the daily, right? Look at that. Look at this candlestick pattern. It failed to close below this bearish candle and also swept this low in here. So this bullish candle closed inside of this bearish candle. So immediately the first target is the high that failed to break a low. And then we keep following this all the way up here and realize that the last unmitigated candle is all the way up here. So the current target for this trade would be in here. And of course, it, it might reverse from this fractal in here, but I believe that we, we go on higher to, to that. And I mean, I don't really trade that daily. 
So this is just, uh, I keep in mind where we're going because really the time frame doesn't matter. Like you can see where we're going on one minute if you know how to read the structure and you're aware of what the range we're in. So back to one minute, we could have had gotten a trade in here. Now look and see that there is an area in here. Could have anticipated a bounce. Uh, if we put our fibs on this, it, it didn't reach 50%, almost reached 50%, right? So maybe you missed this, but then you have the second swing in here. And this one topped 50% perfectly. So maybe you could have looked for the setup in here. And I'm sure on, on the lower time frame, like on the 15 second, this would be even easier to find. Double bottom, where we were saying if you missed, if you missed this entry, there was another entry. Look, the same thing. It's it's literally the price is fractal, right? So look, the same pattern. The same thing is is that that happened here but on the lower time frame happening in here. So we can get in on, on this in here, that 50%. And you can see we, we start breaking structure to the top side. You know, we have one box, we have a second box, and I like to see double uh, break of structure. So, uh, well, this, this whole candle is really um, a structure. So that's one break of structure there's a second break of structure and just this trade by itself you know you can uh, th this would be my entry i would be uh probably longing th th this here and taking it at least to this this is one to three right away but then right this is a low 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 entry so if you missed all of this you know you could have been entry in here you could you could have entry in here see this this line in here is 50 percent 50% and this would be a tough one to get in because there is no clear break of structure. But once it starts going, there you go. It's, it keeps going. And, and usually all of these lows are going to stay intact or they're going to be swept. And that's another opportunity to get in while they're sweeping these lows. There is, see, there is another setup in here. There was a one box break. There is another box break. And a lot of times, this is what happens where the second box, the second breakout will be swept. And this is where we see that uh, Dave the Rave pattern that I picked up from DTFX, where we have a tap and a double bottom continuation. So I always keep in mind that this first low might be swept especially if that's there is no like structure especially there is no you know this is was a tap and a v-shape recovery and here there is a structure you know there is this candle broken taps in and boom and and it looks like a double bottom so that's the logic in here and uh this trade would be you know, you can get on the 50% of this swing because it doesn't have to sweep, you know, but and you target this high in here. That's again, one to three, easy one to three. You can um, target this low as an entry because you anticipate to be swept, but you know, sometimes the price is gonna leave you be uh, without you. That's one to seven here, you know? And because we know where the higher time frame is, and if you are a long term, like a swing trader, you could be just holding to daily levels, just holding up until here while we get in at the low. So this is what it looks like to build a narrative. So that's how you could have catched uh, this daily reversal. I didn't catch it because I, I don't really pay attention to the daily. But this is beautiful. The same thing happens on a one minute chart. And uh, I believe on uh, NQH, it's actually tapped this. Um, on NQH, this actually tapped the zone. And see, this zone is unmitigated. And that's a highly likelihood for the reversal and the reaction. Let me check on NQH. Let me check. So see, there is a daily on NQH. And if we put uh, the zone... As you can see, we tapped, we swept. This is a perfect scenario for the reversal. 
you have a uh, liquidity sweep, you have a sweep of the previous candle, and then you can start targeting these candles. The high that failed to put in the low, weak high, and see each candle is a could be a targeted itself as a high. And that because if we reversed here, we grabbed this liquidity, and now we are distributing it to these highs over here. And eventually, uh, the, the goal would be to get about here, but because we have this swing in here, this, this breakdown in here, and this is unmitigated candles in here, I expect price to reverse. We are on top of the range on the monthly, so got to keep that in mind. But the point is that this thing is fractal, right? That the price is fractal. So the same thing you see happening on NQ daily, it's the same thing happens every day on one hour, on five seconds. It's the same thing. That's why I'm bringing your attention to this, because this is a trading setup in itself. We, we run away from the zone, we never mitigated that, and we wait for this pattern. We wait for the three candle formation, which is also a AMD, as ICT puts it, accumulation, manipulation, distribution. Accumulation, manipulation, distribution. The same thing happened here. Accumulation, manipulation, distribution. So context, that's what's important. Because there's people now that they wanted to short this. You know, they see this big drop, coming in and, and they want to keep shorting it. But price gives us a clear indication of the reversal. So this is why it's important to trade what you see, not what you think. Because this only took three days and the drop was happening for the whole week. And in only two days, really, we had an indication of reversal. On a lower time frame, we had a breakout and now we are bullish while everybody else wants to take it lower. Very important to understand the narrative and context. And the only way you're going to understand the narrative and context of what price is doing is only through backtesting and tape reading and practicing your one setup. The more you do it, the more nuances you're going to pick up on, the more things you're going to notice and the better trader you're going to be. The, the higher win rate you're going to have. And that's the other thing about win rate is that I rather have a high win rate than have a 30% win rate, you know, and it's super mechanical strategy. And the only reason is the psychology. And uh, since this is a psychology vi video, I want to mention this, that it's way harder for you to control yourself and your emotions when you only have 30% win rate. That means that you're going to lose 7 out of 10 trades. You could go on a 7 trade losing streak and now you are hoping that this one trade is going to get you, you know, out of the losing streak to break even or whatever. It's really going to be hard mentally to stick to that, to stick to that strategy and to have confidence in the strategy. You want to achieve confidence as fast as possible. You want to practice as much as possible. And you can't practice if, if you have 30% win rate. You're going to doubt yourself. It's going to be really, really hard mentally for you to stick with that model and that system. So I encourage you to, to find your trading model, but make sure it has a high win rate. Well, the highest win rate is going to have narrative building and understanding where price is going next. Um, and, you know, these mechanical systems that, that you see, they, they might work, but a lot of them, just like trend lines, they might work only 30% of the time. Yes, trend lines work, but you need to understand when they don't work. And usually when they don't work is when they are against the current narrative and context. So that's uh, very important to, to understand what is your model, what is the expected win rate on that model. And really I suggest you to find something that works all the time, has very, very high win rate, and then it's, it's you that you need to execute your model perfectly. It's, it's you that's going to influence that win rate. Because if you can execute your model perfectly and you have very high win rate, it's going to be a blast for you to trade. I can promise you.
it's not going to be fun for you to trade if you're trying to to catch a trade that might work 30% of the time. It's going to be very, very hard mentally. So to summarize this video, number one, focus on building a narrative, understanding the context. Number two, focus on one goal, on one setup, on one trade, on one type of execution, on one kick, and practice that kick 10,000 times. And while you're practicing that kick, refine it more and more and more until you're happy with it, <laughs> which uh, really you never get to that point if you're a perfectionist. And uh, trading and perfectionism, it's kind of the opposite, but you can perfect yourself. You can perfect your actions. You can be disciplined. You can be disciplined enough to execute your model perfectly or at least near to perfect and that's what really matters and number three once you know your model you back tested it you executed it start small start with start with micros if you need to and slowly build up slowly build up your confidence slowly build up your size and the most most important thing is that you never deviate from your rules and you always stick to them. All right, guys. So with that being said, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video.